Hello there. I want to create an uh, animated 3D construction detail. It will be a combination of Rivet architecture and 3D Max design. In Rivet I will be creating a, the 3D construction detail. In 3D Max design I will be creating the animation and the rendering. So I'm in a new project here and I want to create all my 3D detail in modern place. So I want to go to home I want to go down drop list and component. I want to go to model in place. And it doesn't matter what type I pick, what type of category. And I want to draw a reference line. So I want to go into 3D. And I want to go to home. And I want to set my work plan. So I want to go to pick plan. I want to toggle through the planes and now mine is set so I want to go to the right hand side I want to go to extrusion I actually want to go to view first and I want to go on thin lines and now go to extrusion and I want to draw a square so I'll just go and I'll change this to 215 I'll change this to 440 And I want to move these. Down. I want to copy it now. I want to bring it across 450 to leave a 10 mil joint. And keep going across 450. I have it on multiply. So I want to make six of them. So I do this. I go here and do copy so I want to get five this time I want to see all a copy I press see all this time and I want to go into the middle and I want to move it up 10 mil CO again for copy And I want to bring it back and I'll use a line. And I want to keep drawing them up there. Till I get this. So I want to go in to the top. And I want to see what measurement that is. So I go to annotate. I just finish and I go to annotate and I want to align it and it's 250 but I don't want it 250 I do it by hand it's not working by the way so that's 100 now so that's my block work And basically, I'll have my joints. I'll do the joints now. So I might want to set. To that side. And I'll go back into component, modeling place. Set another one. Go to extrusion. Go right. And this part takes a long time. But if I go to pick lines and I tab, it's hard to see it now. It should go around the whole lot. If tab twice, I 
So then I'm just going to trim it all up. So basically now I have this, um, I have the joints in and I have the block work done. So basically I want to click on the wall again and I want to go model in place. And if I want to set a material to it, I can actually click the block work and I can set a material to it. So I can go down here and masonry. Concrete block, but I want to. If I want to do it in the actual project when I finish the model, I want to set a parameter, so I'll just call it block and I want to set a type, so I'll change all of them. So, materials and finishes, and in it. So, when I click finish. And I click the actual model in place, and I'm going to edit type. I have the actual parameter there, so I don't want, I don't want, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to bring it into, um, I'm going to bring it into 3D Max Design, and uh, I won't need to set materials to it, so I could have the whole art just black or white, that color. Just have the whole lot that color. So then, if you want to do insulation, it's the exact same thing again. I'm just going to turn this off. I just can size. Yeah, size. You can see here. Um, and I want to draw a reference line, but I want I need to go into model in place first. I'll just click it again. Okay, and I just want to draw a reference line again, and it doesn't matter, and I want to go into 3D, and I want to set work plane again, so pick, and there we go, we've set, so I want to go to the front, And if I want to put in insulation, I'm going to do it in three layers because I want I want the actual three layers to be moving in the animation. So I would make the the three layers all in one. I'll actually make them separate. So I'll just show you here and just finish model. And the first with you is just copy it over. And then when I'm in animation, there'll be three separate uh, models. And then you can move them in the animation a lot easier. So it's basic enough what I'm showing you here now. Just move them out here. And I'll show you a fast way to align them. So I want to align them to this side. Uh, this is aligned. You can do it by face. And there we go. They're aligned. And then I would actually put the black work on the outside. So this is the finished model now. And as you can see, I've done the black work. And this is actually brick here. And it's the exact way I've shown you. And everything is separate. Um, it's separate if it's a different material. And it's separate if you want it to move differently. So basically, I wanted these two to be coming in the same. But I want some different materials. So that's why that's different material. These are the same material. But I want them to come in, in at different times. So that'll come in first. That'll come in half second there, that'll come in 
another half second there. So that's the reason I have them different. Um, these joists as well, they're all different and they're going to come in differently as well. Um, that's board, that's plaster, that's plaster. You know, everything is going to be different because it's going to come in a different time. Um, also, I've created these. Um, and the only different one is these. This is a blend. So if I go into the actual modeling place, see there's an extrusion down there. And if I go into edit sweep blends, you will see. So that's I have the top done there and the bottom, and they just blend it up. And that's it really. And then when you want to, you go up to the R and you want to export it and you want to export it as an FBX and you have to be in a 3D view to actually export it. So I am going to bring it out to my desktop. Uh, it doesn't matter, I just put it there. That's it. That's it done. So next, I'll be bringing this into 3D Max Design, and I'll show you how to animate it and put materials on it.